We went to go see the new Ant-Man movie. We got- we went to do the VIP screening of fucking the new Ant-Man movie. And when I tell you, by the way, this movie was garbage. Oh my god, this movie sucked, okay? This movie was so garbage. I haven't watched a Marvel movie in a, in a minute, okay? It's been quite a while since I watched a Marvel movie. But this was bad for a- like, for a Marvel movie, this was bad, okay? It was not a good Mar- it wasn't even- it wasn't a good Marvel movie. Not just a not a good movie. It wasn't like- it wasn't a good Marvel movie. Which is saying something, you know? Like that's- that's- that's embarrassing, truthfully, you know? To not even be good at, as a Marvel movie, you know? Is kind of embarrassing. It was dumb. It was pretty not funny, actually. I'll give you, a, I mean, I guess if you don't want spoiled on the new Ant-Man movie, I'm not going to go like into spoilers about the events, but I am going to spoil the setting and stuff of the movie. So, um, I'm going to spoil like, the setting and kind of like the themes, maybe, or something like that. But there, like, I won't, I won't do like major plot spoilers is what I'm saying. Although I will obviously, like I'm talking about the movie. So if you don't want spoiled, obviously don't watch. But, um... The thing is, the movie is set, like, in, like, basically they're super, super, super tiny. I mean, it's fucking Ant-Man, right? So it's, and it's called Quantumania, I think is the name. So it's set in, like, a, in the quantum realm. That's the setting, okay? The quantum realm, which is essentially a super, super, super tiny world, okay? Super mega tiny. However... The actual, um, the actual, like, way that the story plays out is less like a, it's less like they're in a tiny world, and it's more like they're essentially in space. That's kind of how it plays out. It plays out like a space movie, if that makes sense. Like, it literally just feels like, it feels like any other Marvel movie where they set, where the setting is space, if that, if that makes sense. Like, there's fucking spaceships in the tiny, you know, in the tiny world, there's spaceships, there's robots, there's, like, it's, it's literally just a space movie with the pretext of being super small, which felt really wrong, I guess, to me, if that makes sense. Like, that felt, it, that felt wrong. Like, why would you make, why would you set this movie in, like, the little tiny world? but then just make it feel like any regular space movie. You know, that makes no sense. I actually don't get it. I actually don't understand. I can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend it at all whatsoever. I don't get it. I don't get why. I don't get why they would do that. So I didn't like that at all, actually. I thought that was really dumb and really stupid. And I don't like that Marvel did that. It was really boring. It wasn't funny, which is also dumb because I thought like, I mean, the fucking character is Ant-Man. Isn't Ant-Man, at the very least, meant to be, like, goofy, silly, funny? You know? But no, it wasn't really funny. They did have one good recurring joke, which was, um, I think everyone, not everyone, but... If you've been on Twitter or social media, um, have you seen the, the, like, the guy with the big head and the little body? Modoc? That was pretty funny. I have to say, the little, the running jokes they did with that guy were quite funny. Um, but the running joke was basically, like, everyone thinks he looks stupid. They keep laughing at how he looks, basically, and how dumb, dumb it is. And then, I'm gonna do mild spoilers, okay? Mild movie spoilers, so... If you don't want spoilers for fucking Ant-Man 3, okay? Of all the movies in the world to not want spoilers for, not, not, to, to, not to shit on people, I guess. But to shit on people for a second. If the movie that you don't want to be spoiled on is fucking Ant-Man 3, then watch out, okay? Because I'm going to spoil Ant-Man fucking 3, okay? The pinnacle of, of, of movies in recent times, okay? The, this is fucking Kino. This is a cinema, cinematic masterpiece. He, he dies at the end, okay? Modoc does. The goofy, silly, big head man dies at the end. But he kind of like has a change of heart and he tries to have like his little redemption thing. In the last couple, like, minutes of the movie or whatever. And once he kind of dies, he has this very funny scene where he's lying there dying. And he's like, you know, I did it. I was a good guy in the end. In the end, I wasn't a bad guy. I was a wonderful guy. I was a good guy, you know? 
And, and then he's like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, you were a good guy. And he's like, I was an Avenger, right? I was, you know, I died an Avenger. And then everyone kind of makes this like little like, uh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you were, yeah, yeah, buddy. You were an Avenger, yeah. And that was really funny. <laughs> he's like crying. He's crying. He's like, I was an Avenger. I was, I was a, I was a hero. And everyone's like, yeah. And they just kind of like let him have it because he's dead, you know?